fantasy baseball game. <laughs> this is the real thing for this rookie. It's just unbelievable. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. There is nothing fictional about baseball's best ongoing story. Blasting two more home runs on Friday, Colorado shortstop Trevor Story now has six long balls on the season, becoming the first player in a century to homer in the first four games of his major league career. Story has more home runs than 17 major league teams, but his exploits were not enough to prevent the Rockies from enduring a 13-6 loss to the Padres in Colorado's home opener. San Diego snapped a 30-inning scoreless drought to start the season by exploding for six runs in the fourth inning. Here's a look at what else went down around the major leagues on Friday. 41,742 here in San Francisco watching the major league debut of Ross Stripling. He takes the mound in the eighth inning with the Giants having not reported a hit. Dave Roberts is coming out. Stripling will leave the game having pitched a no-hitter through seven and a third and leaves with a two to nothing lead. Now it's Chris Hatcher with three one to Brown. High drive to left. It is out of here. The first hit for the Giants has tied the game. Goodbye and good night. Brandon Crawford has ended it. The Giants on two hits beat L.A. Astros in business, four in here in the ninth. The tying runs are on, and the pitch. Altuve bounces one to Scooter Jeanette. He'll go to second for one. And they are going to call this a double play interference. Is that what he said? With the new rule changes, the second base umpire saying that Colby Rasmus overslid the second base bag, which automatically turns it into a game-ending double play. That's exactly what happened. There's another one way back by Manny Machado. Goodbye, home run. Back-to-back -back home runs in the fifth inning and three total in one inning off Archer. Long high drive, there she goes. A grand slam for Josh Donaldson. He hit it out. That's a grand slam. And the Red Sox are down by one. That's the fifth RBI of the night for Brock Holt. The Cubs received devastating news on Friday afternoon as Kyle Schwarber was ruled out for the season after tearing ligaments in his left knee on Thursday night in Arizona. Young man, sophomore season in the big leagues, uh, one of the most refreshing young talents in all Major League Baseball, and now to be out for the rest of the season, that's not easy. So I want him to understand that we know he's going to kill the rehab, and just for him to know that we're going to be there for him mentally to talk to whatever he needs. Back on the field on Friday night, Joe Madden's squad looked to remain undefeated, but the Diamondbacks had other plans. Left field, Soler drops in front. Here comes Seo. Here's the throw. He is in there. And the Diamondbacks win it. First career walk-off for Yasmani Tomas. Swing and a miss. He got him with the beauty of a curveball down and in. Strikeout number three ends the seventh. That's the end of the day for Zimmerman. It likely is, and right. this crowd knows it. That's a heck of a Tigers debut. Miguel Cabrera, number one. And the Tigers have a 4-0 lead in the seventh. Rob sets. Now the pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. Got him with a fastball. Side retired. But for Jacob, his sixth strikeout. Uh, it got a little tight there after the sixth inning, and I just said something to be smart about it. You know, early on, don't want to push it too much. The snow still coming down. It's that kind of day here in the Windy City. The 2-0 pitch swung on, and there's a high fly ball to center. Davis didn't see it right away, and he's in trouble. Reaches back, and he made the catch. It is grand salami time, and an early Marte Parte in Cincy. And the Buccos have taken a 6-5 lead with two outs in the eighth inning. How about this pinch hitter roll? Not too shabby tonight. Three pinch hitters, three home runs. A third pinch.
pinch hit home run tonight. A third pinch hit home run for the Cardinals, who lead 6-4 to four over the Braves in the ninth inning. And it is gone. Through Ned Odor with his first home run of the year, and the Rangers lead it 5-1. to one. Here's the one-two pitch. Hit to deep right field. Way back and no doubt. And just like that, the A's have taken the lead on a home run by Chris Coughlin. His first athletics home run. And it's 3-2 A's in the ninth inning against the Mariners. Salvador Perez has tied the game with a triple. And now the go-ahead run is 90 feet away with nobody out. For more on these stories and the very latest around the major leagues, keep it locked into MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.